Welcome everyone to Bonifab Custom. Today we're going to be building a go-kart stand. Now, things are opening up and I'm going to be doing some go-kart racing with my son-in-law and a friend of mine, Steve. So we're just going to, what the problem we have right now is we have some go-kart stands that are really heavy, uh, bulky, hard to put in and out of the truck and trailer. So I thought we'd make some out of aluminum and this is how we're going to do it. Let's get right into the build. Okay, so I drew up the whole assembly on CAD. So everything with the actual dimensions of the wheels, the height, the width, how it's gonna sit on there, where the pivot point is. And you can see it's in 3D here. And it's basically made up of two frames that have one pivot point and wheels on each frame. So it's pretty simple. Um, it's gonna be all out of aluminum, one by one tube with a one eighth wall. And we'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna start cutting up some material and start assembling. and I'm gonna punch out where the holes go I'm just gonna mark them okay so I marked up where the holes were with my pick a marker and punch them and now I have my die set my punch and die and I'm gonna put it onto my uh, Scotchman iron worker and I'm gonna punch out those holes okay so the reason I center punched it is because the die has a little uh, point to it and you can line up the point with the center punch that I put on here Just like that. So that's how you get eight quick holes in the caster mounts. Okay, so I'm gonna deburr the aluminum tubes and I'm gonna put this uh, Scotch Bright um, conditioning belt. It's the red belt it's great for aluminum i'm just going to run it over okay so now i have all my pieces uh, from my drawing my tubing i got the wheels that i'm going to be using the front casters the plates screws Everything's cut. I have to drill a couple of holes in these, uh, the longer uprights, but it's just about there ready to uh, put onto my fixture table and start welding. Okay, so now I'm gonna start drilling for the pivot bolt and I have it in my milling machine. Now, not everyone has a milling machine, but this can also be done on a drill press. You would just scribe out where the center is and just go in on your drill press, but I picked up center here and now I'm gonna put in my center drill. And the center drill is gonna make sure that when I actually drill with my drill that it's gonna follow right in the right point. And the bolts I'm using are 3 8 so they have a 0.375 diameter, usually minus a couple thou. And the through hole I'm gonna make, instead of a, just drilling it with a 3 8 drill, I'm gonna drill it with a V, which is 377 thou, just to give that little bit of 
extra clearance. So now I have the axles that are going to hold those big wheels on the back and I'm going to put a C-clip on them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my lathe. I'm going to uh, put a little chamfer machine the front, the face, um, and then put a C-clip groove in here with my grooving tool. This is one of the sides of the frame. This is going to be the one that's holding the big wheels and it's going to have the axles on it. And I squared it up on my fixture table, made sure everything is equal and in line. And now I'm going to tack weld it. So I have it all together and I bolted on these casters in the front here, put some, put some bolts on and I put in the pivot bolts there and now I got to put the stops on. So what I did was I have these three quarter inch diameter pieces of aluminum bar and I clamped them on here. So they're going to get welded to this part here. And it's just getting lined up with the top part of the stand. And I'm going to weld those two in, and then I'll do the other side. Because I'm going to be putting a go-kart on here and the frame is metal powder coated I don't want to have it just rubbing on the top of the stand so I'm going to put some foam on and what I have here is some plumbing foam for your copper tube or whatever to insulate it and it's very inexpensive and it's pretty rugged but we'll see how it how long it lasts 
and it has this little glue strip here that you pull out once you have it around so i'm going to take it and i'm going to drop where it's going so i can cut it i'm going to mark up the length and i'm going to notch out where those rails need to come through the foam Okay, so now we're going to try it. We're going to take the go-kart and put it on top and just see how well it's going to work. Okay, so it didn't fall, so that's probably a good thing. We'll move it around a little bit. Looks good. Okay. Thanks again for watching Bonifab Custom as we made our aluminum go-kart stand. If you're interested in, in one of these, uh, email me at bonifabcustom at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and push that button for notifications for more fabrication videos just like this one.